the one thing you choose yourself, that is the truth of your universe. You're right. Hello everyone, it's Sarah Pack and welcome back. And today we're doing a back to school outfit inspiration video. I don't really have much to say, but change out the clothing pieces as you want to because this is just an inspiration video just to give you ideas. It's not like, this is what you need to wear to school this back to school season. No, this is just ideas, okay? Just take it with a grain of salt and let's get into the outfits. I don't really wear stuff like this, but it, I think it looks cool. So, you know, you could wear this to school, be someone's Holly crush, you know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry if I'm like a little bit awkward. I haven't recorded a video in a really long time, so I'm just like, yeah, this is the outfit. I think it looks really cute. I also have some necklaces on. I'll do like a close-up of it on screen. Yeah, this is the first outfit. Dresses over jeans. I don't know why more people don't wear dresses over jeans. It really needs to like start becoming a trend because look how cute this is. And I'll put up more on the screen so that you guys have more ideas. Why would you not want to wear dresses over jeans? The dress that I'm wearing right now is actually from when I was a little kid, like 10, maybe maybe younger than 10. I'm surprised it still fits me at the ripe age of 17. But yeah, if you're gonna wear dresses over jeans, just make sure that your dress isn't like a bodycon, okay? And make sure your jeans are like wide leg. But I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but there is one dress that's like a little bit of a bodycon, but it's like stretchy. The mailman is here. This next outfit is very simple. T-shirt and jeans. That's basically it. Yeah, very simple, but still cute. And you're comfortable. And matching shoes is a bonus. I did not tie up my Converse because I'm gonna be taking these off in like two minutes. When it starts to get a little cold, you can add a long sleeve underneath your t-shirt for some extra warmth. Okay, next one. If you don't want to wear a t-shirt over your long sleeve, you can also do a short sleeved button up or a short sleeve cardigan, as you can see right here. I don't have any short sleeve button ups, so I can't show you guys, but you guys know what I'm talking about, so you, you don't need the picture. I really like this outfit. I actually posted a picture of it on my Instagram at Sarah the Pack if you want to follow. This outfit is very baggy, so some of you guys might not like it, some of you guys might love it, some of you guys might be neutral, but I love it, so. This is really cute. I keep looking at myself in the mirror over there. It's a cute outfit. 10 out of 10, I don't... I just randomly started to rate these outfits. Yeah, I wanted to change the jeans to something else. These are still jeans, but at least they're short now. Like, we won't be seeing the same pair of jeans every time. So I changed the jeans. I think it looks okay. The top half looks a little heavy compared to the bottom half. So maybe add leg warmers to this outfit so that the top and the bottom balance out. I really like the colors on this. Nice. I'm sweating right now. But yeah, the jeans give a more casual feel to the look. If you want to go a little more formal, wear some trousers. I don't have a pair. I wish I did, but I don't. This outfit you could just wear during the summertime, I feel like. Yeah, this literally looks like a science gown. If your school is okay with you showing shoulders, you could just wear this. But I doubt that many schools do have that. But yeah, very summery, very beachy, and also nice for school. I know this doesn't follow dress code, but I just wanted to put it in the video so that you get some ideas, change out some of the pieces, you know what I'm talking about. I was thinking that a shrug would look nice over this, so it's just like the arms. You could also just wear a t-shirt. Here is the next outfit. I really like this outfit actually with the little pins in my hair. I feel really cute. I've worn these jeans for like almost half of these outfits. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing these, but they're a staple in my closet. Just a good outfit. Like all the outfits in this video, except for the crochet sweater vest. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know if I like this or not. It kind of looks good, but it also looks kind of bad. I don't know, maybe I need to wear a different vest and not this one. Something about it looks a little off. I feel like this is an outfit that could get dress coated because of the mesh cardigan. You can see my shoulders, but I mean, they're still covered. It's just that, you know, yeah, since this is pretty thin, I can just like wear this during the summertime and I won't get that hot. 
next outfit. Do you guys like the hat? I think it's very cool. I don't know if your guys' schools have a dress code for not wearing hats. My school lets us wear hats, so I could wear this to school. I actually wore this exact outfit to school last year. I got compliments on my hat. One of my teachers said that they thought these straps were a part of my hair. So then she was like, whoa, Sarah, when did your hair go that long? And then she was like, oh, it's part of your hat. Feels very cool when I wear this. Wanna look like a fashionable grandma? Wear a cardigan. Any cardigan will do. It gives off grandma vibes and I like that. Grandma outfit, 10 out of 10. I really like this outfit. This is just an accessory. Obviously you can't fit all your school stuff in this bag. Like if you have a big messenger bag, you could bring that to school. I prefer backpacks cause it's just easier. You know, and I won't be like lopsided once school ends. I feel like I'm going to the library to study for my like biology exam. I actually got this outfit off of Pinterest, so go to Pinterest to find some nice outfits. You could switch out the turtleneck for a t-shirt if you want to wear it for the warmer months or like the first week of school, so yeah. This outfit is actually inspired by BTS Taeyong's outfit from Dynamite. I'll put it up on screen somewhere. I thought it was a pretty cute, let's use a different word other than cute, um, cool. I thought it was a cool outfit. Why not recreate it? Because this is a perfect outfit for school. For this outfit, I'm going to need you guys to use your imagination a little bit. As you can see, this top is not done yet. And I'm holding the ball of yarn right here. I think this is a cute outfit. I see a lot of these types of tops on Pinterest, so I wanted to make one myself. Um, maybe my school would dress code me for this because of because of this part, you can see my bra, but I really like this bag. I found it at the thrift store. I've had bags like this pinned to my Pinterest boards for the longest time, and I finally found a bag. Did I put this in the video just so I could show off the top that I made? Maybe. The pattern for this was by Miyu on YouTube. Yeah, with this outfit, I'm wearing kind of the same colors for the inside and then a pop of color on the outside. I feel like one of the cool kids when I wear this, and I feel really confident. I think this gives off like jungle vibes like a lot. I don't know why, it's just maybe it's the shoes, maybe it's just because it's all like black and like just dark colors. But it reminds me of jungle. This outfit, a 20 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to join the pack, and I hope that you got some ideas for back to school outfits. But yeah, comment down below what your favorite outfit was. I think it's this one, the one I'm wearing right now. So. That's my pick. And yeah, be prepared to see a lot more high school videos because this is my last year in high school. So I'm gonna make the most of it. So you're gonna see a lot of high school content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm?